Welcome to my video on how I'm using Evernote to help me build a second brain. Now, the way that you can set up Evernote is pretty slick. You, you have notebooks, and notebooks can be organized into what are called stacks, which are just multiple notebooks at once. Right now, I've got several stacks. Uh, there's a project stack, areas, resources, and archives. Projects are active projects that I'm currently working on. This week, I'm working on building a second brain, so that's why you can see that. I've got a couple notes in there. There used to be more, but I've moved them to more relevant stacks. Areas is a little bit more broad. It's what it sounds like. It's about different areas. So right now, I've just got marketing. I've got a personal thing, a uh, email voucher, uh, and writing. Resources is my section for any kind of resource. So I've got currently two folders, blogs, podcasts. Uh, there'll be more that will be added later, such as books and uh, videos. And then uh, I mentioned that my building a second brain folder is lacking the notes it used to have because it's been put into archives. Archives is a really helpful way to keep your current projects and relevant information for areas and resources clean from detritus or detritus. So I've got notes from my interview with Emily Urban on the role of marketing, and I have my notes from my research regarding marketing, plus a third one that was more specifically related to my post on describing the role of marketing. So I also have a default notebook set up, which is just called Inbox. And I've got numbers in front of them, so that kind of goes in a logical order. And just to show you my process, I've actually moved some of the notes from these other stacks and uh, notebooks underneath them back into my Inbox so that I can just quickly show you know, how this works. So right now, let's say I've got this note here from Copy Blogger, How to Craft Compelling Copy. It's a big, long PDF, which you can you know, go through page by page if you wanted to. Unfortunately, it does that. Um, so now it's in my inbox right now. So what I'm going to do instead is create a notebook. I get dropped down here. I'm going to add it to my resources stack. And then I'm going to move this here. And what I'm also going to do, it'll let me duplicate it. I'll pop it open like that. And because it's directly relevant to my marketing area, I'm going to move the copy to the marketing folder as well. And since I, this is just a general resource on how to write copy, it doesn't get put into projects. It is a reference to draw on. Projects is going to be dedicated to notes and notebooks that are immediately relevant. I can always draw on this and this at any time for any project involving copywriting in the marketing field. Um, it may not be relevant to multiple projects in here. So it, it stays out. Uh, you don't want this cluttered with useless information. Get back to the main window here. Okay, it's not funny. There we go. So then, uh, this is a feedback that a friend of mine gave me on an article that I wrote. So I'm going to move that down here to writing there it's going to pop in there. So now I've got an area that is a older thing. The notes will be very helpful for me in the area of my personal writing. Then I've got traffic and conversion 2019 notes. This was from a conference and these were the notes that were sent out afterwards. So what I'm going to do is because this is about traffic and conversion in the, in the field of marketing, it gets to go under resources, PDFs. 
and this one is a political article. So that one actually is, is going to go here under blogs, under resources. And this one actually needs its own new notebook because it's about a, oh, actually, I'm sorry, silly me. That gets to go here. These are all immediately relevant to my general project this week of building a second brain. So now, if I were to close archives and resources and areas, I now have a very streamlined, empty inbox, but a very streamlined projects folder. And that helps me keep my focus on things that I am currently working on. And once this building a second brain module is complete, then I just drag this down into archives. And there you have it. That is how I am building a second brain using Evernote. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video or on my blog where it will be posted. I'd be happy to discuss it with you and, and perhaps even uh, give you some pointers and insights.